Okay, we're back with the second episode of the, the mobile workbench here that we're working on. I uh, wanted to show you, you probably see this. This was actually catching. It spins okay now, but it's tweaked. And one of the ways that we found that out was with this lag in there and the lock nut and everything, it, it hits, especially under weight. So I bought some new casters and we're going to Go ahead and put them on. I wasn't going to do that at this time, but it, it seemed like kind of a waste to have it upside down and not put them on. So we're going to take these off. I'm actually, I had had them set on the plate here. I'm pretty sure you can see. Yeah, let's do this. I had had these things set like this. You can see the holes down in here. And that puts them as close as they can really get to uh, not having enough meat. So I'm sure at the time it looked great because I could put them like that. But I'm going to mount the next ones like this. And instead of using lags, even though I really like the holding power of the lags and everything, I think I'm just going to use some, uh, some decent screws, like some construction grade screws. Make sure that they don't drop through that hole. If they do, I'll put a washer on. But I want them to be flatter to the surface because if and when they do tweak over, that's what was catching was the height there was making that hit, and I don't want that to happen. So I'm going to go through and take all these all four wheels off, and then we'll put the casters on, and I'll give you another close up of that. So I went ahead and pulled the uh, lags out. We're going to just kind of eyeball this here. I want to fasten these first. I'm just going to force that down so it makes a little dimple in there. Because it's real easy to lose where you're at on stuff like this. So, no way. Promptly popped the. You couldn't see that. That's good. Because if you tighten it up so far, you pop the head off the working. Yep, did that number. Boy and his hound dog are up trying to play. <laughs> He's got one of them uh, parachute men up there. I'll have to see if I can find a little bit smaller washer. Here. I'll get something rigged up there, but I'll go through and I'll do all four of these, and then we'll go ahead and finish this, and I got, there's a two bay in there, I'm going to pull out, I know where it's anchored, and we'll set it on edge, because it's so much stronger. Right? Okay. two screws. As you can see, it could warp this direction. So we're going to turn it on edge because it's much stronger that way. But I went through and I actually put this tube of three on and drilled it in. So I got to go through, undo all of that and figure out how I attached it down here. But soon we'll have just a board and I'll lay it in the middle. And then we'll use a bunch of scrap I got from some other stuff to secure it in. And we'll set these legs right up here for their back and forth play. And we'll 
probably throw what's left of that plywood on the bottom go on top of this and then we'll be done for the time being except for one little trick I got left that we're not going to talk about yet. That's that. All right, so this is our board. We're going to lay it down here in a minute, but I'm going to take this, which has already been marked for center. It's the piece that was originally drilled and stuck on like that. I'm going to butt it up there, pin it in, do the same thing on the other side, and then just sit it back down where it was. And the dog's stuck in the attic. This should be pretty close right here. I mean, it's pretty dang close. We'll see how it lines up. I might have to do a little bit of finagling. Because this looks like maybe I marked it. Yep, I marked it off some. So I'm going to go ahead and change this, but then we'll cut to me uh, lowering this piece in. And so in between the rain here and the dog whining, we're going to set this down in there. side. on each side kind of get whatever weight I can on it when I'm doing it so we're not gonna film it so it's gonna look like a circus clown and that will be except for hitting this and maybe a couple other braces you can set right to stack in from a project we pulled apart in the basement that's been there for the previous owners that'll be just about it for this particular build All right, so after careful consideration and rescuing of a young hound dog who is not happy about being up there in the attic, even though he found his way up there, I'll take some of these, because we've got a fair amount of these that are in pretty interesting shape. We're gonna pin them in like that, probably from the outside. Or maybe at an angle so I don't have the little pointies out there. And then we're going to run a board from here on this leg down so it'll be on the same plane of existence. And that'll be it, man. It'll come together really fast. And then, uh, depending on how much battery life this thing has left, which is probably not much, we'll go through and uh, show you that last little trick. on this um, cry out tonight. Yeah. See that square right there. Pretty dang close on that side. That side's just a touch off. I expected them to be a little bit different. So I'll pin this one square because it's pretty dang 
close. And then we'll uh, do this side. So we're going to set these on the inner. So I'm just going to butt, I'll get all my boards about the same way. Butt them up where they're in. And I'll take this until the bottom edge is just flush with the two before I just put in. And that's where I'll uh, go ahead and tack her in. Two, and this one's only going through one tube before. Put one screw instead of two. That way, if the upper one needs to pivot, I that there, that's pretty close. for all the other ones and that'll be it and we'll oh, make the next one up there's all the other ones <sighs> so the battery died in my phone <clears throat> we're back in the house uh trying to relax before bedtime um we did get it all braced up and uh, actually flipped over and took a single edge razor blade and scraped some of the dirt and crap off of it and um we will finish the uh, we'll finish the uh -huh, accessories and stuff on it tomorrow. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe to this channel.